about 280 meter cubed of wastewater is generated per day uh, from the slaughter process. And this 280 meter cubed or 280,000 liters uh, drains into natural channel. At the point of uh, discharge from this collection chamber, we use an ordinary uh, water pump. Uh, that's what we use to pump uh, the wastewater from the collection chamber into the anaerobic uh, SBRs. Uh, the system where we are standing is an integrated system comprising of different units. It is important to treat this wastewater because it is rich in organic matter and therefore it is a source of biogas. So if you integrate wastewater treatment and biogas generation, you turn the waste into a useful product. So the industry saves some money when it uses the, the biogas to, to run a generator. BioInnovate provided several support uh, for the treatment of wastewater and biogas generation. The project has shown a viable technology. Now our target is to upscale this to generate 100%. But the first step was to show that the technology uh, works. If someone would have asked me, what is the biggest challenge that your company faces? I would have said waste disposal. We, in our, in our company, we produce three products. We call them as banana alcohol beverage. One is Raha, another is Raha Poa, Raha Poa, the other one is Raha Gold. We receive banana from suppliers. What we do, we have to do quality checks. We analyze the product, whether it is uh, got physical contaminants or any, chem any chemical contaminants. Because the next stage is to extract the juice. We pump the product to fermentation. We have got bottles which get from market. We wash using a bottle washer. Those bottles also are inspected well. All water which are coming out of the bottle washer, all, all they come directly to, to this uh, ETP. So there's no way you can find water, uh, 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 the stagnant water which is there because of that. This project here at Banana Investment Limited was conceived before we even knew where we are going to get the fund to support it. It happened that uh, because of the problems of wastewater treatment they had, uh, they, what, they sent their director for operations to the University of Dassam where I was working with the intention of finding out whether there are possibilities from research that we could actually apply. So now what we are doing is that all the waste which is coming from the plant uh, first, we are passing it through the, the different process of the effluent treatment like uh, the equalization, then uh, clarification, then thereafter we pass through the biodigester, it comes out from the biodigester. So the basic requirement of treating the water is completed by the biodigester. Then we look for the possibility of taking out some money from the waste, generating energy from the waste. So the energy which is generated is biogas mainly, that biogas we, we are using it for a boiler. And finally, the treated water, uh, we do final treating from the wetland and after the wetland, we are giving it to the irrigation now. BioInnovate came into being and they were financing possibilities of uh, doing something that is practical, combining research results that we already have and doing something out there which will actually take out the technologies from the, from, from the research you know, uh, laboratories. Because it's a system which treats wastewater to get three useful products and no byproducts. No soot, no, no oil, no dust, nothing. So it, it has no, nothing, no adverse effect, effect to the environment. And I've been following the, the monitoring report from Banana Investments. The water that is discharged from the ETP meets the quality that we need as a regulatory authority. So our challenge is to ask NEMKI to use banana investment uh, ATP technology to create awareness to other investors. We started the project as a research, but uh, more of packaging technologies for maximum benefits. And that is exactly what uh, we've been able to put here, whereby we have uh, an effluent treatment system that you recover energy for the use in the, in the internal 
heat requirements for the, for the factory. The wetland is the final polishing stage, which will ensure that we meet the environmental conditions that are required by Tanzania standards.